In this video, I'm going to talk about a disruptive technology that has the same potential to radically alter the future of both the labor market and the economy as a whole as ChatGPT has for since December 2022. Welcome to Analyzing Finance with Nick. Today we're going to talk about robotics technology, particularly the invention of personal domestic robots and how their eventual and probably sooner than you think mainstream adoption is going to affect society. Uh, I was inspired to this video because I saw um, a demonstration of a robot made by Google called Mobile Aloha. And then there is Dyson, the vacuum cleaner company, is making something similar as well as a few um, startups as well. Mobile Aloha does is that it has arms that and grip that can move around and do a lot of relatively basic movements that for humans, but have been previously been too advanced for robots that allow them to be much more effective in doing basic domestic chores. Uh, Mobile Aloha can fry an egg. It could cook shrimp on a pan. It could bake things in an oven. It could do your laundry. It, and the, it could wash your clothes. It could dry your clothes. It could fold your clothes. It could clean your house. Just wipe off a spilled wine glass. I, I'll have a link in the description of the video that I saw that went a lot deeper into the potential of this. And this is just one of many. And the biggest game changer about this is all these parts for Google's mobile Aloha can be acquired for less than $30,000. And for context, the average new car in America is above $40,000. And your typical like medium end sedan is going to be somewhere around 30 grand today. That's less than a Tesla Model 3. And so for less than the price of a medium quality car, you can effectively have your own version of Rosie the Robot in the Jetsons. And the implications of this are huge, obviously, for a lot of reasons. First, if you have a robot that can do this kind of thing for you and cover a lot of domestic chores, it opens up a lot of free time for people who would, had to normally spend their time on chores. Uh, it would allow for young parents to be more involved in the workforce if they wanted to versus staying at home with their kids. Or if they want to still stay at home with their kids, they could focus more of their time on education, which might make homeschooling more popular, or make spend their time on just upbringing and passing down their morals and values and spending quality time with their families instead of spending the time on household chores. And for those who want to work, it gives them more time to work. Uh, the other benefit of these household robots is it will allow the elderly to live on their own much longer than they would otherwise. And it may help a lot of old people never have to go into retirement home or they would not have to move in with their younger family members because the domestic robot can take care of a lot of the needs that they would have previously needed a nurse to do or a at-home worker. The other thing this could benefit too is hospitals. Uh, hospitals have long time had staffing shortages and I don't think Mobile Aloha or any of their alternative robots are going to have the ability to replace every nurse or doctor in a hospital. But they could probably reduce the amount of nurses needed at a hospital from say 10 for every floor. I don't, I'm just using it as a hypothetical. I don't know how many nurses are on each floor of a hospital. It depends on the size of the building, obviously. To five. So for every, for a previous capacity, um, while work that needed 10 nurses, probably now needs five with five to 10 mobile Aloha's to replace the remaining nurses. This will make a hospital's um, be able to have more economies of scale and be more affordable. And it will also probably put pressure, downward pressure on the wages of nurses and other care workers throughout the economy at retirement homes or those who are directly in people's houses or at other places that they work tend to work at. So this will have a meaningful reduction in demand for care workers and other nurses. It'll have a reduction for cleaning staff. 
they'll have a reduction in demand for cooking at especially at lower end restaurants completely automate fast food and eventually as things get more sophisticated they'll be able to get involved in assisting in industries such as construction and gardening so the biggest things at risk are not really high precision high skilled type of things because their arms are not that advanced yet they will get rid of a lot of the low end low skilled service and care workers and the implications of this one it's going to create a lot more unemployment on the lower under skilled under educated component of the labor force in this country and many others two it'll basically kill the demand for low-end migrants from south of the border in the u.s or from just developing countries in general for other places that are struggling with migrant crises because now there are jobs that a lot of people believe that people want to work because the wages would be too low um, it's hard to have a wage more lower than a robot who has one fixed cost and the only variable cost is maybe upgrading the software once in a while and plugging it into the wall robots are going to outcompete human labor on cost no matter how poor the country of origin of those migrants are it's going to change the politics of immigration because the downside of increased housing demand increased social welfare strain the so social continuity issues and all the downsides of that are outweigh the benefits of cheaper labor especially if a robot is much cheaper labor than any person can be so there's political implications and it will create what we have now as a labor shortage and shift it to a labor glut especially for those who are in the lower skilled categories of the labor force who are native born citizens their jobs are going to either be harder to find or they'll still be jobs for them to do the wages are going to be lower and with the demographic pyramid the way it is and a lot of older people moving out of the labor force and retiring or moving on to the next world uh you are going to have less demand eventually and or you and less supply but if the demand stays up just due to increased productivity and higher living standards then the robots can come in and fill in relief for what otherwise would have been a major work shortage and if the robot technology accelerates faster than anticipated it create an outright labor glut and then you have the political and social problems associated with structurally high un unemployment from those who don't really have the means to do so uh, find other jobs or, or do not have the ability to retrain that's another major consequence of this um, i think it also can change gender relations for the better if chores are not a common um, issue for couples to argue about and there's just more time available for people to enjoy the quality time with each other instead of doing chores it might encourage larger family sizes or more intact marriages or a lot of other potential positive um, upswings from having one of the more frustrating burdens of modern life be delegated to a machine or it could go the other way where people say hey look a lot of the reason why i wanted to be partnered with somebody i don't need to because i can have a machine help me with a lot of my um, needs then why would i get into a relationship that's kind of the dark side and then use ai for the emotional side of things i still think that people would rather want to be with other people who truly care and the uncanny valley of ai is only going to work on sending some of the most socially awkward among us but that is a potential left tail of the adoption of this kind of technology. Overall, I think this will be a net positive for society in terms of just allowing for um, more freedom for the elderly. It will allow for just more free time on the aggregate for people to pursue what they truly want to do versus the drudgeries of domestic labor that's mostly unpaid. There's going to be social consequences, both in terms of how it impacts the employment market, particularly um, the main losers, again, being um, staff at hospitals and care workers and also temp agencies because they'll have less demand for people looking to hire because people can buy machines. 
But at the same time, if the demographic curves are correct and there's going to be a structural shortage of labor, this could actually be the savior. Kind of like how AI is the equivalent of savior of a structural shortage of educated white collar labor in the future. This could be the blue and pink collar equivalent of chat GPT, which is why I compare the two because AI more disrupts jobs that are based on repetitive cognitive tasks, whereas mobile aloha and domestic robotics is the disruptor of non-repetitive but simple tasks. Whereas repetitive simple tasks have already been automated by standard machine robots and manufacturers just like Fanux manufacturing arms using cars, etc. So this is a major disruptive technology. I think the key catalyst for when the stock market and investors will care about the implications of this will be when Kind of like when ChatGPT came out, was the first consumer-friendly, accessible version of this technology. And when Google or Dyson or some other company makes a consumer-friendly, pre-built, ready-to-go, programmed in to do all the chores version of this that's sold at your local Best Buy or Home Depot or on Amazon, then get ready for the mania of Rosie the Robot and the the domestic household chore automator um, capture the national imagination. If you like this conversation or would like to add to it, feel free to comment, like, share, subscribe. Please share if you want me to do these kind of bigger picture economic and social integration type videos. And thank you for watching.